Look up in the sky at the birds that play. It's- Jason J. Lewis, the voice of Superman on Justice League Action. And you're listening to The Krypton Report. Welcome. Welcome to the Krypton Report podcast. Tonight, I have some special guests, some crossovers from Brian the Guys and that guy named Trey. That's right, because it's funny you're saying it that way. For some reason, James isn't able to join us tonight. He might pop in. He might be fighting crime. But we're going to finish our list of our favorite live-action versions of DC characters. With me tonight, to my right, flipped in the mirror, is the host of Brian the Guys, Brian. Oh, hey, that's me. I'm that guy. Yeah, you are. I'm Bri. Hey, Bri. Hey, Uh, I'm really happy to be here. I'm happy you are, too. And to the right of my screen box is Trey. What's up, man? I am doing wonderful. How is everyone tonight? Doing well. Doing well. And down below, that man who's coming from the warm state, where it's all sunshine and rainbows, and the river runs like wild women, little place called Spin. (laughs) <laughs> not asking, but it's Finch. What's up, man? Flock like the salmon of Calistrano. What's up, man? <laughs> All right, West so Coast? we've done a list similar to this in the past. Yeah, but we're gonna finish with our favorite uh, Superman villains, and then I just have regular DC villains. Um, I have some other comments to add here. From Jania was gonna fill one out, but I think she forgot, and I have one version of something from her. But I got a couple of things from Solomon I'll throw out there too. So how we'll start was we'll go Finch, Trey, Brian, me. Okay. So we'll, we're just going to jump on into it. Starting up, first one to go, Lu- Lex Luthor, Finch. And these are all the best live action versions, right? Yes. All right, uh, so I've got Michael Rosenbaum from Smallville. Ooh, Rosenbaum. Good choice. Good choice, dude. I, I would say that there's no bad version of this answer, but uh, yeah, there are some bad versions, I would say. But well, Rosenbaum I, is a I solid answer. Mention, my honorable mention is probably the wrong answer. Uh, I like John Cryer, dude. I think he did a pretty good job in, in Supergirl, but... Rosenbaum is the best. I'm not I will hold no comments till the end. Okay. All comments till the end. All comments till the end. He said that's his honorable mention. That's, uh, a, that's a great That is a great honorable mention. It is. All but right. This is Finch we're talking about. So yeah. He's just a great period. All right, Trey, you're up. I'm gonna get hate for this one. I already know it. But it's also gonna show my age just a little bit. I'm gonna go Jesse Eisenberg. Uh, you know, I know he. The hell you just said? I know, I know. <laughs> what the hell did you just I say? I know. Can I cuss? Can I cuss you, this? That, that's as far as you can go, Brian. What the hell, man? Eisenberg. I know. Hey. Get this guy out of here. Get this. Get this. No, nah, it's okay. It's okay. I, I am. Hey, this is a judgment for each zone. As long as you can back it up, I'm good. You did ask if this was a judgment podcast. Yeah, I'm judging. Yeah. Eisenberg. <laughs> Listen. All right, Brian. Let's hear. Um, my answer is not as controversial as what the hell that kid just said. I thought he was my friend. Uh, I have uh, I have John Shea. Ooh. And the reason I have John Shea from Lois and Clark New Adventures of Superman. That's a, that's a good um, one. That's a, good a lot one. of people would pick Rosenbaum. But I pick, I pick Shea because I don't like when Clark and Lex have like a connection. Like a personal connection. Like they were friends. Whatever. I don't like that. John Shea was a suave businessman. He was after Lois. Uh, he had the suaveness. He had the mad scientist stuff. He he didn't like, and I like his interaction with Superman, where Superman ends it with, if you ever need me or, or looking for me, just look up. And how much that annoyed him and bugged him. Um, yeah, John Shea is my choice, sir. I think John Shea is the best forgotten Lex. I feel like he often gets forgotten. Hands down. All right, so <clears throat> my lovely wife, Jania, has Michael Rosenbaum. Excellent choice. My son has Michael Rosenbaum. And then I have, are you ready? Please say John Shea. I have John Cryer when he first appeared on Supergirl. When he first appeared. There it is. Thank you. Because when he was Thank first you. there, early on, he was great. 
But then they, yeah. and they, but then like he was, they paused and then they brought him back and then it was diminishing returns after that. Pre crisis, prior. I mean, yeah. Pre crisis. So, pretty much, yeah. Um, I think crisis might be the point where, yeah, we're after that. But when he first got on there, I thought he did such a great job of blending different eras of Luther. Yeah. That, and I, I believed him. I, I, I like probably it. his most epic scene, of course, is the being in the exosuit doing the my way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, love that scene. Just, oh, just I thought it, I thought his, his most epic. all right. I thought his the scene with uh, Tom Welling was good. In crisis, yeah, yes, you yeah. gave it up. Yeah, he's like, you're not even worth it. <laughs> he's like, still stronger. Excellent, excellent choice. All right. Next, next one, Zod. Let us see again. Fincher up um, first. Obviously, obviously, I'm going the uh, the clean route. I got Superman two, Terrence Stamp. Uh, but I I'm not gonna give honor mentions for all of them. But there's a couple I really liked. Colin Salmon from uh, Krypton. I liked the way they kind of redid something there, and it was I liked where they were going. Krypton was ahead of its time it shouldn't have been canceled so it was ahead of its time so all right trey he picked, he picked krypton nice i'm gonna go michael no, shannon from the 2013 Terrence man of Stanford. steel finally trey gives a good <laughs> <laughs> i like it i love it finch was saying something what finch Sorry, my thing's lagging pretty bad here. Um, I would say my actual choice was Terrence Stamperman too, but I really liked the Krypton version. That's what that's what I thought. You said, t yeah, that's what I thought you said. But yeah, it was, it was lagging for a minute. If you feel like if you want to turn your camera off and just use your audio, you can do that too. If you feel that works, I mean, it's just I don't know. That's what it is. All right, Fry, your turn. Uh, my choice is of course the greatest Zod there is, and the greatest Zod there ever will be. The Brad Hart of Zods, Mr. Terrence Stamp. For a minute, I thought you were going to pick the guy who was uh, on Supergirl for like three seconds. You know, I was like, no. the original kneel before Zod. You will bow down before me, Jerome, and one day your heir. Come down, Chancellor of Valoran. Uh, <laughs> Solomon has Michael Shannon from Man of Steel, and this one I, I thought about, but I'm going with Colin Salmon from Krypton. Because I feel like he found a way to blend the energy of Stamp and of Michael Shannon together and do his own thing and showed a much different Zod. And I liked it a lot. So, I, yeah, I, I like it. Too. It's grown on me. The, the clips I've watched at Krypton, because I haven't watched all of Krypton yet, uh, the clips I saw, I really, really liked, especially his, his speech um, where he actually says Neil before Zod. Like that speech was uh, that was solid. It's hardcore. Yeah, I'm with you. All right, Doomsday. Um, Finch. Hold on. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. There is a lag for sure. Um, I chose the Superman and Lois season three Doomsday. Um. Uh, I guess there's no particular actor for it, but that's my favorite version so far. <laughs> yeah, that that, that we'll just have to classify it by where it appears. But yeah, uh, it might have been Ryan Reynolds. You know, he did Juggernaut, and then he moved over. <laughs> yeah. That that is a that is a good answer. Like, I really feel like there's only one bad answer to this one. But Trey, I'm probably gonna you're up, I'm buddy. probably gonna give that bad answer. Um, <laughs> yeah, you are. I'm gonna say Dario Delicio. And only because um, in Smallville, just because for when they brought him to it, they really didn't rely on CGI. They just found, you know, a big menacing dude to wear a good suit for the show. So that's my reasoning behind it. Wait, that's I, not the wrong answer. I from Smallville. You're, you're awesome. You're good with. I thought Sam would it. Uh... That's not the wrong answer. Sam Whitty No, it's so. I Sam would No, when they. Yeah, Sam Whitaker was the man. Right. But when they actually put someone in the suit, yeah, oh, it was okay, Dario. Okay, okay. He was actually in the makeup. All right, Brian. I that answer. Brian. Yeah. 
Um, my answer is the one from Krypton. Uh, I almost wanted to say the uh, one from season three of Superman and Lois, but I was like, wait a second. Krypton had a really good look in Doomsday. So I went and watched the clips and stuff. And that scene where he's charging towards the, the uh, Seg's army and he steps on that dude's head. I'm like, oh, that's Doomsday. Yeah. You know, I mean, he looks like he looked really good. Looked almost as scary as my sister. Like <laughs> your um, sister was Doomsday. You didn't know that she 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 provided the mocap and everything. They were just released her. Oh, it really makes sense. They had to actually add more CGI because it was too convincing and <laughs> scary. <laughs> so they were like, make it look less real. Make it look less real. <laughs> that definitely was it. She'll never listen to this. Yeah, Krypton for sure. Uh, he looked awesome. So Solomon loves Doomsday. So he had, he wrestled with this one, but he eventually settled on Smallville. He thought Smallville just looked more like the comic book, um, even though they had, he wished they had done more with him, but he really liked the look. And I chose Krypton. I thought that was one of the best things that Krypton did. And for much of the same reasons that Brian said, it just was a very menacing, yeah, big, and it looked like Doomsday. And when he walked, the whole ground shook. And like, if you, I mean, awesome. you, since you haven't watched Krypton, I won't say too much, but you get the story is awesome. All right. Next up, Parasite. Finch. So this one, uh, I'm not sure if he was the actual parasite, but I went with the Aaron Ashmore version that they did on Smallville. I'll allow it. That's close enough. They because right. Smallville did this thing where they kind of like do like a villain, and then kind of try to do it again. Because like in season nine or eight. They actually did do someone they called Parasite. When they, but that was like when they were actually trying to do the villains more correct. Yeah, and they, uh, they you I know, get I get it. They made them weird, so yeah, I like Darren Ashmore. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? All right, Trey. Hey, Dice Man. I'm not. Oh, Sean. I'm not gonna lie. Sean Aaron. I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea who this villain is, and when I tried to do research on him, I I was just you know, I'm this is I I've never heard of this guy, so I'm I'm gonna have to pass on this one. <laughs> so, That's fine. Um, That's fine. I think I could answer for you, Trey. Um, <laughs> you see, par- so if you don't know who Parasite is, Parasite is basically Spectrum in alien form. <laughs> So that's that's who Parasite is. Enough said. Just just, just Enough try said. to absorb all the energy in you. Nice. Make yourself more powerful. All right, Brian. <laughs> um, you know, I I couldn't remember too many versions of Parasite. Like I was trying to remember the live action versions. Um, while I thought Superman and Lois took an interesting take on a version of Parasite, it wasn't Parasite. To it was me. it was too far out there. It was it was way out there. Uh, so I'm going with uh, Rudy Jones' version in Supergirl. And kind of look the closest to what Parasite should be. I did the same thing as Brian, Ru- the Rudy Jones and Supergirl. But there hasn't been that definitive Parasite. Not yet, in my mind. Not yet. Yeah. So listen to this, James Gunn. Parasite. All right, Toy Man. This would be this would be good. Uh, Finch, who's your I Toy went, Man? I went with uh, Chris Gar- Gartier. Gartier? From Smallville, the round, the round version. Rest in peace, bro. Rest yeah. in peace. R.I.P. Um, Excellent choice, Finch. I'm just gonna jump ahead. I did the same thing. <laughs> just we're here. We're here. You chose him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I chose as well. Me as well. Yep. Choice. He looked the most yep. comic accurate. He is the most comic accurate, and he looked great. And you know that the the actor, um, he did a great job. He, uh, but like he was one of those character actors that you saw in a lot of CW shows. Like he was in Supernatural for one episode, complete different character, and just it was awesome. All right, Bruno Mannheim. Oh, uh, wait, Trey, did you have a toy man? He said the same one. He's the same one. Mm-hmm. I can't hear anything. I'm deaf. Whatever. Happy to be here. <laughs> I, just, I got a brew in my hand. I'm doing good. Nice. Uh, for Bruno Mannheim, I went with Chad L. Coleman from Superman and Lois. Uh, I just like him as an actor overall, but um, I think he did he did a really good job on that one too. So. Me too. Me too. Me three. He's one. 
<laughs> uh, me four. He's like, I can think of anybody else that played Manheim. There, there's a man. <laughs> there's a Manheim that appears in in uh, uh, Lewis and Clark. I think they Smallville too. There was one in Lewis and Clark. Oh, but okay. they were so like there's Fire. like this is an example of like I put it on there. And I had a feeling that we were all going to pick the same one because he did such an amazing job. He did such an amazing job. He really but did. there were other versions to pick from. But yeah, that's why I kind of just went ahead and was like, me too. Because I feel like there's no debate. Now, Brainiac. We'll start with Finch. Uh, okay. Um, Blake Ryston from Krypton. But honorable mention, Jesse Rath, Brainiac 5, Supergirl. But Krypton mm. is my my mm. answer. Okay, um, I'll hold my thoughts. Trey, um, I uh, I forgot the last name, but it was Finch's honorable mention. Uh, Jesse, uh, Rath. yeah, Jesse Rath. So, but yeah, that that's who I went with. So, hey, where's uh, he from? Sm- Supergirl, huh? Supergirl, yeah, Supergirl. Brainiac. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, Brian, yours. Uh you see, my answer is who should have played Brainiac in uh, Superman uh, Lives. Wow, Mr. Uh, Christopher Walken. But uh, he never got to play the role, so I couldn't go with him. So I chose the dude from Krypton <laughs> because he looks amazing. The voice is creepy as hell. Um, amazing job for Brainiac and Krypton. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wow. Solomon said Krypton, and I say, you ready for this, you guys? You might you might disagree. Krypton. <laughs> 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 nah, like Krypton. If they that show nailed every villain, every villain yeah. they brought out, like they nailed it. Um, freaking Sci-Fi Channel, man. That's what I said it was ahead of its like, time. God man. bless them. It was ahead of its time because it was right before the streamers were taking everything. And I'm like, they gave us like eight seasons and three movies of Battlestar Galactica. And they couldn't give us one movie to finish out Krypton. Freaking Beats, sci-fi. Fires, extra seasons. Battlestar Galactica. Now, this one should be fun. Metallo. Um, Finch. Okay, so I went with the, the simple answer. Brian Austin Green, Smallville. Um the only other one that I really could think of was Opus from Supergirl. At, like at one point, he kind of becomes Metallo, I guess. Mm-hmm. But uh, Brian Austin Green, Smallville. Okay, Trey. I went with Frederick Schmidt from Supergirl. Okay, Brian. I went with Mister. Beverly Hills 90210. Mr. Nice. Brian Austin Green. Because uh he he was more he was the closest thing to Metallo that we probably got. Um he looks pretty good. I thought Super Supergirl went kind of like a little too much a little bit, but Brian Austin Green is the one that I could definitively remember in my head. So I'm going with Smallville Brian Austin Green. I'm gonna start throwing out answers for James since he's not here. James picks Superboy. That's his favorite Metallo. Um, he can he can you know yell at me later. And uh, James's answer for best Lex Luthor is uh, Superboy season one. Yeah, it's Scott from Superboy. Uh, his favorite Zod is Callum Blue. His favorite Doomsday is from BBS. His favorite Parasite is the latter part of Smallville. <laughs> his favorite Toy Man is from Supergirl. His favorite Brum- Bruno Mannheim. He couldn't find one. Favorite Brainiac is uh. What's his face from Smallville? So James, <clears throat> James, James, James Mastin. <laughs> he just looks nothing like Brainiac. Yeah. Yep. Spike, right? Uh, no. So Spike. my favorite Metallo. Yeah. Yep, Spike. My favorite Metallo is from Supergirl. The I think it's the same guy, but it's the guy from season two, like the first couple episodes. Um, I think he actually is when they fight Superman. Um, but yeah, the Metallo from Supergirl, I think, was my favorite. Is that the one? No, this Trey, the next Trey one. Selected. I think so. I just didn't know the actor's name. I just picked the Supergirl one. So, white dude, Corbin. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
the next one I'm I'm interested in everyone's opinion, but Silver Banshee. Finch. I picked Italia Ricci from Supergirl, and it's just based off of she looked better, I think. Okay, okay. Trey Dog. We may have lost Trey. Uh, Trey, are you there? Hello? Yeah, you there, Trey? Oh, sorry about that. Um, Hello there. <laughs> yeah, I went with um, Italia Ricci as well. Okay. It's two for Supergirl. Brian. Uh, I also went with Lionel Richie. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Supergirl. It's me. Okay. All right. Uh, I thought she, I thought she looked the closest to Silver Banshee. I don't really care about Silver Banshee, but uh, I thought she looked the closest to Comic Accurate. I went with Smallville because I thought she looked awesome, but I liked the whole characterization better. And uh, James is going to Smallville too. So. But that's why I was kind of I was interested in this one. Good job, James. Good job, James. Are those all James? All right, actual Morgan answer? Edge. No, I don't have him. He was supposed to join <laughs> oh, okay. us. I'm just okay. making. As I just okay. said, <laughs> he can be mad at me later. I'm just going to throw out whatever I want for James. Okay, so um, <laughs> he can send me his list later. So for Morgan Edge, um, I wasn't really familiar with this character until he appeared on Superman and Lois, and that is my pick, uh, Adam Rayner from Superman and Lois. Okay. Okay. T Dog. I'm going to go with Patrick Bergen. From? Smallville. Smallville. I was, I was like, you got to, for, for everybody who doesn't know all the My, actors, my bad. My bad. No, that's fine. Bry guy. Uh, I don't really care about Morgan Edge. Um, so. And I know he's not supposed to be Superman's brother or like hidden brother. Uh, so I, I just threw in a pre-crisis era verse Morgan Edge. Whoever that is. The dude from Heroes, right? It's uh, some actor that we don't care about. Morgan Edge, moving on. <laughs> and now the, now the Tyler with sports. I was <laughs> Back to Ollie with weather. <laughs> um, it's going to rain. It's thanks, sunny. Ollie. Uh, I'm going... I'm going with the first Morgan Edge on Smallville, which was Rudiger Hair. Yeah, it's pre-crisis. It works. Sure. <laughs> Before he had his, you know, explosion, plastic surgery, and all that in the storyline. And James is going with... Uh, uh, Wasn't it Adrian something? James didn't pick anybody. From, from Arrow? The, yeah. The dude from he Heroes, was, it was right? Yeah, he was in Supergirl. He, yeah, yeah. He was in Supergirl, wasn't he? Oh. He was the Morgan Edge of Supergirl, so yeah, eighty. Wait, yeah. Is, isn't that the guy I chose? Yeah, same one as Brian. Yeah, yeah, we'll okay. get that. The Morgan Edge before it was on a different Earth. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks, guys. James is right there with you, buddy. I work out. James loves heroes. It was not Peter Petrelli. Hey. It was Nathan Petrelli. Yeah, he is. All right. Good... Here's a good one. Faye Aura. And uh, Finch. I didn't get her. I I didn't get her legal name. The actress's name, but Man of Steel. Yeah, it's it's I can't remember for some reason on on I know what it is, but I can't pronounce it. Just say Man of Steel. We'll roll with that. Trey. Yes, same person. Yeah, same person. Yep. Yeah, as I was saying, I, I can't pronounce it, but I know it, the name. All right, Brian, who's your Feyora? Um, I honestly couldn't remember any other version than Man of Steel. Um, I know that Ursa and Feyora are supposed to be two different women. They are. I often confuse them. There's a whole podcast um, on it. Um, obviously, it wasn't important to me. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go with Man of Steel. All right, James is going to go with me. And we're going to go Smallville because I felt like she actually got a really good characterization and showed growth. Question for you, since you did a whole podcast on it, and I can't yeah. listen to the podcast while I'm doing a podcast. Um, it, it, or, okay, so is Feyora the one, is, is Feyora more his military leader, or is that Ursa? That's Ursa. Ursa who, did, who, did, who did Zod have the kid with? Feyora. Christopher. It's, it's Feyora. It's Feyora. But then I got twisted because 
Ursa was created for the movies and was never appeared in the comics until later when Jeff Johns and Richard Donner brought the three Kryptonian villains into the comics. And Son of Krypton, right? So Chris is technically uh, Ursa's and Lars Odd, who is supposed to be the same character later on, is Feyoris. Um, Okay, so I like Ursa better. So comic machinations, but Ursa is a different person. Yeah, well, Richard Donner, you know, he's, you know. There's one, I told, like I said this in the panel, there's one version that has both of them in the same episode of the Ruby Spears cartoon series. Yeah, I'm more, I guess I'm Team Ursa. That's a different character. Team so. Jacob. So. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Happy to be here. All right. Mixed. <laughs> Mr. Mixes Pitalik. Say Thank that. You. Say that three times backwards. Mr. No, Mixes Pitalik. Uh, Mr. Mixes Pitalik. The best version is actually animated, and it's Gilbert Gottfried. But we're doing live action. So I went with. Damn right it is. Lois and Clark. Howie Mandel. Hmm. Okay. Nice. Uh, Very I like that one. safe. Very Howie Mandel with hair. I'm trying yes. to remember the Jack Black. I'm trying to remember the Jack Black line from uh, High Fidelity, where he's like, uh, I don't know. "All right, Trey." He sucked. That's Jesse Eisenberg. What? <laughs> we'll allow it. This you is just said a baby. everybody's allowed to have their opinions. So, that's that's the freedom a, of speech. We're allowed. Free zone. Well. James's favorite is from Smallville. <laughs> that's James's favorite. We can mark that down, Finch. James' favorite Shut Smallville. That Write that down. That guy. All right, Brian. What's your uh, favorite? My favorite is. Uh, Michael J. Pollard from Superboy. Oh, see, that's a great comic, comic accurate suit, comic accurate look. Excellent, excellent casting there. It was great. See, this is this has probably been the most interesting. My favorite for Mixie is Thomas Lennon when on Supergirl when they recast Mixie and he came back. So I think Thomas Lennon is usually pretty good in everything. Yeah, he was great. So um, I actually liked him. His energy and everything just felt more like Mixie, but if you're going comic accurate, it's Superboy. Yeah. You know who probably would have played the definitive uh, Mixie? Who? Other than Gilbert Gottfried? Uh, uh, Willard Shart? Or is that, is that his name? The guy that played, um, the guy that plays, um, the professor on Young Sheldon. Oh, that also Wallace. played the Sicilian. Wallace, uh, Inconceivable. Yeah. Is that his name? Yeah. Yeah. He would have been great. Inconceivable guy. That's, he would have been fantastic. All right. So our last. From the Superman category, okay, okay, is Bizarro. Now, after Mixie, I'm interested in hearing what people's thoughts are. Finch, um, I think I'm gonna change my answer last minute right now. Um, that's okay. It was not we know your list. <laughs> it's not my podcast. Actually, you know so, what? I'm gonna. You, you know, know what? I no, 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 no. I'm, I'm gonna keep it. This is this is what I had originally. I put Tom Welling from Smallville. Um. I was going to change it to Tyler Heckley oh. from Superman and Lois, but I'm going to keep it as Tom Welling. Okay. Respect. Trey. Mass respect. Yeah. There we go. Nice, Trey. You just Googled that right now, didn't you, my boy? <laughs> he's like, he's like, yeah. I love Trey because he is Googling the whole thing. Hey, I don't care. All right. Uh, my choice is Tyler, uh, Tyler Hoochie Hoo- 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 Mama from uh, Superman Lois. I really like the look of that Super Bowl, of that Bizarro. Um, I love that we. What I really love the most about it is I love how in season how season one we think Doomsday is there, and then they fake you yes. and it's Bizarro, but then they come back in season three, and Bizarro becomes Doomsday. You know that wasn't planned. It was genius. And and because I listened to one of the writers talk about when they were working on it and they made the joke like, oh, we we did actually make it Doomsday without even realizing that, you know, they originally wanted to fake us out, but then they had the idea to make Bizarro into Doomsday. And like, oh, snap, we brought it full circle. Yeah, I I like how Bizarro turns into Doomsday. I thought that was very, I thought it was creative. I liked it. Um, I I think he looks great. 
Mm-hmm. Tom Welling, definite honorable mention. Um, James's pick is Supergirls, Supergirl Bizarro from season one of Supergirl. <laughs> That's James's pick. Uh, my pick is Superboy. I actually thought they did Bizarro really well. And like every time he was very comic accurate and, and very much a Silver Age Bizarro. I mean, the, the, the second best is Tyler Hecklin's. Like, that was great. But I want to give some love to the Superboy version. I thought it was really good. Uh, I've seen that version in, like, bits and pieces as I've, like, clips of the Superboy DVDs I have. But I haven't got to those episodes yet, unfortunately. They're, they're good. So, all right. Now we're moving on to other DC villains. Deathstroke. Finch. Uh, honorable mention is going to be... Um... Joe Manganiello, because we didn't get enough of him, and he looked awesome, but um, I went... If you would have just said Joe Manganiello, I would have been fine. Well, I'm just like, I'm mad that we didn't get enough of him, so I feel like I can't really... But we got him, so I guess... But I have Isai Morales just for the suit, but Manu Bennett as Deathstroke, the character, and everything else, so... All right, all right. Sadly, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Trey had to go be a Superman to his child and take care of his baby. So we wish him blessings and Godspeed. Hi, Trey. Brian. Thanks for coming. His baby's just a month and a, month and a half old. So, you know, we're going to give him grace. Thanks for coming there, Trey. We love you, buddy. Uh, okay, so I guess I skips to me, eh? Um, so I can't remember the name of the actor... That was in Titans. Um, it's, it's Issei Morales. That's, that's like I is. almost want to go with him. Uh, that, that's that's who finished. Yeah. That. Did you finish? Give his answer yet? Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. So, um, I lo- I thought he was fantastic. I thought like his actions were very Deathstroke. Um, you know how he manipulated his family and the comic accurate suit. But I I, I gotta go with Manu Bennett from Arrowverse. Um, yeah. because like he was the best villain of Arrow. Yes. Um, and I keep going back in my head to that epic scene where he's got Oliver's mom right there, and he's like, "You got shoes," and he just kills his mom like right in front of him. Like, I mean, and then after that, you know, it was all downhill from there. That wasn't the <laughs> with Arrow. Or with Arrow. Like that? Yeah, but yeah. I think you're right, Finch. I think it was the. Well, it would, that would have been season two, so I don't think it was season would, two. But that, I don't think that would be the hundredth episode in season two. No, the hundredth episode was in the. Fifth I don't season. think it was. No, so. this is season five. Hundred episodes are always in like season five of traditional shows because it's twenty episodes per season. But he killed his mom in front of him in season yeah, two. Yeah, in season two. Yeah. yeah okay. Um. Yeah i I thought he was fantastic. He had he had depth to Deathstroke that I just I thought was a whole another level. So I, I chose Manu. I I think that if he would have got his shot, I would have definitely chosen Joe Magnello. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. So yeah. Solomon says Joe Magnello. Um, James says Smallville. That was his favorite Deathstroke in Smallville. I almost went with that just to piss people off. Uh, my favorite version is Titans. Like I love Issei Morales. Yeah. I've I've always liked yeah. him as an actor. Um, I thought just the characterization of Slade was really great in Titans. Um, it's it's like it's it's, it's awesome. just like it's just one. It's just right between Titans and Arrowverse for me, man. It it is close. Like I had to really sit and roll over it, and I went with Titans. Okay, cool. the next one. This should be a simple one. Um, Dark Side, Finch. The cloud of smoke from Smallville. No, I'm just kidding. Um, that's James. That's James's answer. <laughs> I bet Zack Snyder in Justice League. Ray Ray Porter. I uh, Solomon put Justice League. Zack Snyder's Justice League. I said Zack Snyder's Justice League. Brian. Uh, my answer is uh, the unfulfilled Superman Returns sequel. All right, Brian's just making stuff up now. No, th- no, he was going to be the villain in the Superman Returns, which sequel? was supposed to be Man of Steel. That yeah, was like the working yeah. title. So, um, but the real answer, of course, is a Snyder cut. Um, yeah, 
I, I had to put it on there because there was two live action versions. Just that's all I tried to do. If there was more than one live action version, I tried to add it to the list. Yes. But yeah, only oh. James went with the cloud of smoke. Or wasn't wasn't Dark Side in uh, in Infinity War? Like wasn't that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right dead shot i went with my man i big see that shot on that list dead shot yeah big willy style from suicide squad uh, solomon went I with some, i somehow missed that shot. suicide squad james went with smallville i went with suicide squad brian what you got uh i don't know how i missed that on the list um you chose you chose Will Smith. Yeah. For this shot. Uh I'm gonna choose whatever one's the most controversial. Well, you have Deadshot from Arrow, and then you have Deadshot the Cowboy from Smallville. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick the one they killed so that Will Smith could happen. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. So the cowboy, so the one, the cowboy the one was actually not too bad though. But you gotta go with Will Smith. Yeah. Yeah, well he <laughs> Will Smith did a great job. Yeah. Yeah, Will Smith did a great job. We'll give it to Will Smith. Unless you're James. All right. So the next one is going to be Plastique. Oh, I thought I thought I saw so, Brick. Was that not? Brick was on there, but I, I was like, Brick was too. I, I know they did multiple See, on my versions. list, I had Brick. But I okay, you Brick. I'm going with the arrow is Brick. Well, that's, oh, that's okay. what I picked, too, just because that's the only one I knew about. So who, uh, who do you have for? I Brick? also picked Arrowverse because uh, that's the only one I knew of. There's another. There was one on uh, Smallville. Well, he probably sucked. That's what I said. Like it, that's what I was James like. picked. <laughs> that's who James picked. Okay. All right. Plastique. All right. So Pitch. I think there was only two versions, and I went with Jessica Parker Kennedy, aka Nora from The Flash Access, yep. but she was in Smallville as Plastique. Yep, that's why I picked because yep. Who'd you pick, Brian? Uh, the one in the Flash. All right, James. P- James picked the one from. Oh, James picked the same one as Brian, the Flash, from season one. So we're, we're split two and two. Well, she looks most like Plastic. I mean, I agree. All right, here we go. Okay, is it Raz Al Ghul? No, it is Ra's Al Ghul. Finch. <laughs> uh. I, I had to give the only correct answer. Um, Liam Neeson's Batman Begins. All right, Brian. Uh, I picked. Uh, um, hold on. Don't you dare say. Uh, that. Can one not be? I'll I'll allow it. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Uh, I def I uh for uh, I picked uh, Liam Neeson for Race is Cool. <laughs> He's someone who hates ghouls, Liam man. Liam Neeson. Uh, J- Jania Liam, picked Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson for sure. Solo picked Liam Neeson. Yeah. Uh, no question. James picked the guy from Arrow. No. That's who James picked. No. no one picked the guy from Gotham. Nope. No one picked. That's who Trey picked. The guy <laughs> from <laughs> Gotham. <laughs> I, I also went with Liam Neeson. Nice. Can't go wrong with the Neeson. All right. King Shark. <laughs> I didn't know of any other live action okay. versions, so I went with the Sylvester Stallone version from The Suicide Squad. Brian? Oh, uh, Air Reverse all the way, all day, every day. I'm a, Yeah, the, the f- one from The Flash I picked, but I got to give an honorable mention, even though it's animated, to Ron Funches, because that is my favorite version of If King I could have picked one, I, will just... that, I love that Ron Funches <laughs> one. Yeah, I would love. I wish that someone would just dub lines from Harley Quinn, Ron Funches into the Suicide Squad, and because I can't stand the Sylvester Stallone one. And so, just make it Robin Funches would be Ron Funches would be a bit better. All right, Brother Blood. Um, I, what you got, Finch? I went with the Arrow version, Kevin Alejandro. Okay. He's a good actor. Bright guy. Uh, I picked Titans. I too picked Titans. I, th- I thought he was a little bit more sicko. I, I think Brother Blood is a very creepy, sick character, period. But yeah, I went with Titans. No, he looked great. James on went with. Uh... No, I mean, I don't, I don't think there's really a wrong answer. With there that. isn't. 
because he was really good in Arrow, man. Yeah, he was. They both work really well. All right, the Royal Flesh Gang. So I went with the season eight Flash crew, the Queen, King, Jack, and Ten. They were they were metas, so they had abilities. So that's the crew I went with. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. No wrong answer on this one, I feel. Um, I picked the Flash as well, because that's the only one I can remember. I went with Arrow season one because I liked the more street level gang that they were. I just thought that worked. It was cool. But I don't really have a there is no right or wrong answer because i really liked how they were able to reinvent the royal flesh gang throughout the arrowverse run all right here we go ready clock king i went with uh robert nepper from arrow i did too there's like two different versions in the arrowverse but i had to mention but yeah brian what about you Oh, the real answer is B-Taz. Batman the Ammon series. That is the real answer. Oh, yeah, that's the, the real definitive answer. clocking. Um, yeah, I uh, I went with Walter Slizik from Batman 66. Nice, my man. That I, one's pretty I knew you would. Accurate I knew you would. Too, so. It is. Yeah, he was, just, he was a corny Zach. Like, but the way that B-Taz just... Ugh, so good. This next one... Um, I feel like there's only really one right answer. But, that, that is correct. There is only one right but answer. But there's been four versions of this character, so I had to put it on. Like, But Amanda Waller. Finch. Um, obviously, I went with the correct answer, which is Viola Davis, but I do really like the version from Arrow, too. But Viola Davis is just master class. All right. All right. Brian? Um, Angel Bassett and Green Lantern. That's James's pick. <laughs> you went there before I could get there, but yeah, that's who, that's who James chose. He he was adamant that that was the best Amanda Waller that's ever been. <laughs> the on only screen. answer. Uh, no, the answer is solely Viola Davis. I mean, no question. I mean, yeah. it, she, it, she is definitive. Viola Davis, absolutely straight up. But like I said, there's been four versions, so I, I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I was going to pick the, the same okay, one. Okay, so we. Uh, but three. this one be. Who's the fourth one? Uh, Pam Greer from Smallville. Oh, shit. I forgot oh, about part. Pam. Sorry, my language. Yeah, I forgot about Pam. That. Oh, you're good. Yeah. So you had Arrow, uh, Pam Smallville, then you had Viola Davis, and then you had Angela Bassett, the one that everyone forgets Pam, about. Pam, Pam, Pam. You did that thing again, didn't you? Pam, Pam. All right. Captain Boomerang. For live action, I What you got, Finch? I Oh, you know what? There was other versions, but um, I went with the DCEU. There's three versions Jai in live Courtney. action. Jai Courtney. But we'll say there, there's not four because he was one they didn't do in the Flash. There's TV. Dirt. There's there's a Harkness. There's Digger. And then there's Owen Mercer. So which you weren't very specific. No, because it's just the character in general. It's fair. So you can pick whoever you want. Is there? I'm trying to remember. I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now. Maybe it's because... So no, you got Owen yeah, Mercer there's, there's and a version in Flash, like the last season of Flash. And then I think there was another version. There's a Flash. version in Flash. So there's Arrows. There's a version in Flash. Yeah. There's the DCEU. And then I can't remember if there was one that appeared in the 90s Flash. Probably. Because there, uh, there was a Captain Cold in the 90s Flash. But he was really, really bad. I don't remember. All right. So who are you picking? Uh, Jake Courtney all day, every day. Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, Mr. Courtney because for the little bit he got, I liked him in The Suicide Squad. <laughs> like, I mean, he was fine in Suicide Squad, but I, I feel like they... they hey, Halls. He's like, he's like <laughs> all letter, all names are letters. <laughs> like, for the, li for the little bit he got. All right. That's uh, a dog? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? That's kind of, what kind of dog is Um, Last one. Also, Solomon picked Jai Courtney. Uh, the reverse Flash. Uh, obviously. Bench. Obviously, Tom Cavanaugh from The Flash. But my honorable mention is, but it's very specific to Legends Season 2, Matt Letcher. But Tom Cavanaugh mm, the rest mm, of the rest See? See, I like how you, just, how you did that because that's kind of like how I feel about with, with John Cryer. I was like, 
when he first appeared on Supergirl. But yeah, all right, Brian. Um, Tom Cavanaugh. Yes, Tom Cavanaugh specifically in Flash season one. James chose. Uh, James chose uh, Ezra Miller <laughs> as <laughs> Barry Two, Young Barry slash Dark uh, Flash. He felt that was enough reverse for him. Um, I chose Tom Cavanaugh, specifically season one, but Tom Cavanaugh period when he would show up as reverse flash was menacing and just an amazing presence. But that is our list of favorite live action DC villains. We've done our heroes. Uh, we've done our Batman lists and everything. Um, so yeah, let us know anybody, any listeners, what who your favorites were. If we missed any that has multiple versions, sometimes it's really hard to keep up with, especially how things happened, um, you know, in the Arrowverse and all those shows. But I think we got a pretty good in our la- in our previous episode when we did just the Batman list. We really had a good conversation in there. Um, but let us know. Thank you, Finch and Bry, for being here. It's good times. Thanks for having Thanks, me. Thanks, Trey, for being here. With all love, we do love James. We're sorry he couldn't make it, so we were just playing around about his choices. I'll have to send him a list and let him know what his choices were. Um, he'll have to come on the show and defend himself, but that's that's all good. So, all right, everybody, you take care, and remember... Look up in the sky! We want to thank you for checking out the Krypton Report podcast, and we ask you to check us out on all of our social media, on Twitter X, Facebook, Instagram, Blue Sky, Hive threads youtube we're everywhere and if you want to be a guest on the podcast just send us a message and let us know if you are like tyler and james and can't get enough super talk check out these other podcasts digging for kryptonite supergirl radio the last sons of krypton the superboy legacy podcast all-star super fans superman the animated podcast the aspiring kryptonians always hold on to smallville the geek of steel and truth justice and hope i am brian peters the creator and host of gravely amusing for the past 30 years i've studied the history of gods and monsters in pop culture and our world as a student of theology and history i've tried to understand evil and its impact on us as a writer i've tried to share this knowledge as a comedian i've tried to make people laugh as i do it but as a man child i'm still that scared seven-year-old boy Join me as I share the history of horror and sci-fi, discuss classic and modern pop culture, and share a creepy story or two. This podcast may scare you, it may horrify you, or it may leave you gravely amused. Listen to Gravely Amusing on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and wherever podcasts are found. Follow us on Twitter at Gravely underscore Amusing or on TikTok at Gravely Amusing. We have a $1 Patreon. Yes, I know everyone asks for money, but our $1 Patreon each month gets you commentary tracks for releasing movies, DC movies. It gets you my requel series where I pitch ideas about movie sequels, prequels, or whatever. It also gets special bonus episodes. So check that out for $1 a month. That's all we ask. Keep it cheap, keep it simple, and help us keep going. Check out the link in the show notes or Patreon Krypton Report. This is Dan Jurgens, and if you want to have a good time, keep listening to the Krypton Report.